But what moral framework? So if it's nothing more than a machine and just the product of its inputs, then the two obvious questions, like what are the inputs? Like what's the moral framework that's been put into the technology? What is right or wrong com yeah. according to Jet GPT? Um, so on that one, I... Someone said something early on in ChatGPT uh, when they really has stuck with me, which is one person at a lunch table said something like, you know, we're trying to train this to be like a human. We're trying to learn like a human does and read these books and whatever. And then another person said, no, we're really like training this to be like the collective of all of humanity. We're trying to see all these perspectives. And, and if we do our job right, all of humanity good, bad, the, you know, very diverse set of perspectives, some things that we'll feel really good about, some things that we'll feel bad about, that's all in there. Like this is learning the kind of collective experience, knowledge, learnings of humanity. Now, the base model gets trained that way, but then we do have to align it to behave one way or another and just say, you know, I will answer this question. Um, but on the whole, uh, I have been pleasantly surprised with the model's ability to learn and apply a moral framework. But what moral framework? I mean, the sum total of like world literature or philosophy is at war with itself. Like the Marquis de Sade is, you know, like nothing in common with the Gospel of John. So like, how do you decide which is superior? Right, but what criteria did you use to decide what the model is? Um, like who decided that? Who did you consult? Like what's, you know, why is the Gospel of John better than the Marquis de Sade? Uh, we consulted like hundreds of moral philosophers, uh, people who thought about like ethics of technology and systems. And at the end, we had to like make some decisions. The reason we try to write these down is because A, we won't get everything right. Uh, B, we need the input of the world. And we have found a lot of cases where there was an example of something that seems, that seemed to us like, you know, a fairly clear decision of what to allow or not to allow where users convinced us like, hey, by blocking this thing that you think is an easy decision to make, um, you are not allowing this other thing, which is important, and there's like a difficult trade-off there.